Hello, this is Bern, and if you're sick and tired of asking the question, where on earth are the quality conscious men hiding, you are in luck, because in my episode today, I'm gonna show you how you can connect to this amazing guy starting today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Ask Bern, where any of you amazing, beautiful, courageous women get to ask me a question on understanding men, or intimacy or how to connect them out of your dreams and I give you an answer in the form of a video. Today's question comes from Joyful Gabby and her question is, the problem I now face is that I meet lots of guys but none of them are the guys that I would want to connect with or go out with. Most of them don't seem to want to grow up and be men. I've been single for a couple of years now and I have met a single guy that comes even close to being a potential guy that I can connect with. I feel like I'm very open and have a dynamic life, so where are all the good guys? I know, Joyful Gabby, that you're not the only woman asking this question. I've gotten this question so many freaking times from so many women in all walks of life. All, <laughs> So I, I have to give you an answer here. And the first thing I want to say to you is that, hey, first, thanks for asking this courageous question. The second one is like, men are everywhere. That's the first thing I'm going to tell you right now. Men are absolutely everywhere. There is not a convention of or a, or a group of conscious, amazing, powerful guys meeting city to city. That doesn't happen. So the guy that you want to connect with is right at the corner of your street, perhaps, or it's in a different club than the one you go to or in a different gym or uh, behind you in line when you're too busy thinking that there's no guys anywhere. So what I'm asking you right now is to first and foremost, more change your mindset. Okay, if you change your mindset and you're really open to the idea, the possibility that guys are amazing men are everywhere, you're going to stop missing them. If you're someone who in two years has not met a single potential guy, I have to tell you that the common denominator here is you, my friend. See, if you're not meeting these guys, there's something about either the places that you're connecting to or the mindset that you have that's not allowing you to connect with someone because there's amazing guys everywhere. So. What I'll tell you is that if you open your mind, it's kind of like when you're driving and it's raining and you're trying to search for your friend's house and you've never been there before and you're thinking, oh my God, I don't know where this is. It's too difficult. It's too complex. And you miss the house four or five times. You finally see the house and the number was there all along and the red door was there just like your friend told you. If that's ever happened to you or something similar, you know that there's a tremendous power in your brain that will either focus you and get you what you want or blind you from things that are already there but if you really think they're not available, you won't be able to see them. So the second step for this is get out of your comfort zone. If you really aren't connecting the type of guys you want, I'm gonna give, there's 250 things you can do. Number one is get out of your comfort zone. That's like the big scheme thing that I'm telling you, but you can change gyms. If you're going to a gym that doesn't have the guy, kind of guys that you're connecting with, do that. Or if you're not going to a gym at all, join one and have spend some time there connecting and talking to people, especially guys. Uh, work at a co-work. If you're starting your business, for example, or if you're, uh, uh, you can actually go and co work at a co-work and connect to guys who are driven, who want to have this amazing thing happen in their life, which is their startup, you know, and connect with them. Or you can have uh, dinner, take yourself to dinner to a cool restaurant that's busy at happy hour and sit there and be friendly and alive and connect with guys. Um, you can also uh, join a meetup. I mean, connect to a meetup that seems really interesting to you not the meetup for creating uh, greeting cards because there's probably going to be no men there, but connect to a meetup that has the potential of having guys there and check it out. And if it's not what you want, connect to another one. Basically, what I'm saying right now is that there's so many things you can do. If the current environment is not providing you with what you want, you just have to be creative and you have to do this from a position of if all I do is connect with one human being, it's worth my time. Okay? Because that human being may not be a guy, but maybe the sister of your future husband. Okay? Always have that mindset. The third one is simple and it goes in combination with the second one that I gave you right now, which is change your freaking approach until something works. Here's the thing. If I were to tell you, there's a few things you can do right now that's going to help you to connect to the man of your dreams, where you can have an amazing family, get married if that's what you're looking for, have a joint life, share your heart, express yourself, have a spiritual breakthrough with someone, would you be willing to do it? Most people say yes, but the price to pay for that, my friend, is getting out of your head, getting into your heart, and doing whatever it takes to create this result and doing it from a position of possibility and a position of this is fun versus like, I get to do this, I have to do this, right? So I'm telling you right now, you have the power in your hands to change this. My challenge to you specifically, Joyful Gabby, and any other woman who really wants to take this to the next level is the 10 in 30 challenge. And that what I want you to do right now, if you're not connecting to the, guy, the, guys, the kind of guys that you want, is I want you in the next 30 days to connect to 10 
new environments, okay? New yoga class, that's a new environment. New gym, that's a new environment. New meetup, that's a new environment. 10 of those over the next 30 days and then come back and report, tell me what's happening in your life. Thank you so much for listening to me. If you find this is helpful and useful to you, I'm gonna ask you right now to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, most important of all, I want you to either on the description of this video or right here on your screen, there's gonna be a button that says, uh, click for live webinar. And that webinar is an opportunity for you to learn a three-step blueprint that helps you to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. If you have any questions for me, place a comment on any of my videos and I'll either respond personally or even better, create a video for you. Thank you so much. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.